Good morning, everyone. Look at this here. Um, whoa, I've got to sneeze. Nope, never mind. I'm gonna do a study with me vlog today because that has been very highly requested. I put on my Instagram story the other day, like, ask me, tell me videos that you want me to do, and study with me's were very, very popular, so I'm going to do one today. It's like nine in the morning right now, which isn't super early, but for me, that is my usual day. I wake up about eight, start revising about nine, and I'm gonna do a whole day of revision. I'm not wearing makeup today because if you know me, um, I don't wear makeup on an everyday basis at all. And also, on top of that, I'm helping my friend this evening with her makeup kind of course. She's finishing up and she wants to do a practice or something on me. So I'm gonna meet her at five and she's gonna do my face. So there's no point in putting makeup on because she'll just have to take it off. Also my hair is gross because she wants to gel my hair tonight and there's no point in me washing my hair. I text her and I was like, can I just come with greasy hair because you're gonna make it even more minging. And she was like, yeah, that's fine. Actually, I got this in a charity shop, but it's originally from Urban Outfitters. And then I'm just wearing black jeans and I'll put my Vans on, like super casual. There's, I literally don't make any effort at all. Right now I'm going to firstly walk my dog. Really good way to start off the morning is just to do a little bit of a walk, get some fresh air. I don't like going straight into revision. I also like going elsewhere to revise. I just cannot get into the mindset when I'm at home. So that's kind of my first thing, which I do if you're interested, is always leave the house, always walk my dog, get myself awake properly. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do right now. Okay, so I'm back from my walk with my dog. I'm now just gonna make some like snacks for whilst I'm revising. I don't usually make my lunch and bring it to uni. I know that's terrible and I don't save any money by doing that, but if I'm gonna be completely honest, I do love lunch and I do love trying different things and also I like the social aspect of lunch and if you go out for lunch, if you eat something, even if it's just like going to the supermarket and grabbing something, it's still like sociable because you're getting out of the library, you're going for a walk, you're with your friends, you're discussing what you're gonna eat. I know it sounds so trivial, but that is just something that you need in the middle of your day when you've been revising quite a lot. So I don't usually bring lunch with me to the library or to uni, but I do bring snacks, so I'm gonna make them now. Usually what I do is I bring like, it sounds so silly, but like, something that's fruit and something that is like, um, more like solid. So usually that consists of serene is like my solid thing because it's such a good, like, healthy food that gives you energy. I always eat serene, I love serene. It's something that I can munch on all day long and that is like my guilty pleasure. So usually I have serene with me or a cereal bar of some sort and then fruit. So I'm gonna make my fruit, I don't know if you can see it at the side, Usually it's just like whatever is in my fridge at the moment. Just for ease, I buy like these and you're meant to use them for smoothies, but I found that if you like put them in a little container, they kind of defrost over the day. I don't know if this is healthy. Also, I quite like when they're really frozen because it means they're really cold when you go to eat them. It's not like they've warmed up in your bag, which is minging. So the fruit is still cold if it's been frozen for the last few days. So for today I've got fresh grapes, frozen mango, and some remainder of frozen raspberries, but I think there's very minimal left. got into one topic and I'm really making sure I've got lots of detail on it which is ideal for my exam which is great obviously got another nine topics to do on top of that but you know 
you know, first ones got started. I'm now just heading for lunch. The guys are gonna join me in a minute. I've just gone ahead so I can start my vlog and they're too busy chatting to one of their friends. We're gonna go for like a baguette, just literally at a uni cafe, but it's just a bit like refreshing to get out of the, out of the room. done my revision for the day. It's about four o'clock right now and I'm heading to meet my friend Lauren. She is needing to practice her makeup so I'm heading to Glam Candy right now which is the place I did my talk actually. So it's just around the corner and I will get my face painted by hope for her. Hopefully it isn't too awful. Not awful but like too wild to go home looking like otherwise she's gonna have to completely take my makeup off which I'm sure isn't a problem. <laughs> I also had to walk here because I didn't have a bus fare. So Lauren's done my makeup, I look terrifying for her folio. Three, first, first one of three looks. So she's done like Alexander McLean inspired. I actually kind of cool. I just scared myself for the first like wee bit. I'm, I'm getting used to it. This was meant to be like stuck to my face, but it's because I've moved, it's come off. But it's meant to be totally scary. Yeah. Hey, I'm home now. I have, um, if you're wondering how my hair is magically transformed, the ladies at the salon were really lovely and they let me use their shower and wash my hair. So it's still kind of greasy because there was so much oil in it, but it's like, at least you can tell it's a bit more normal. So I've just got back and it's about, what time is it right now? It is half seven, which isn't too bad. I've had my dinner and I'm now going to do my evening study routine. I very rarely study in the evening. One, because I hate working at home. I cannot for the life of me work at home. And also B, it's just, I like my evenings to be a bit more chilled, but sometimes they've got to happen and sometimes you don't get as much done as you would have liked. So I'm going to show you my kind of evening study routine, which I guess is quite rare, but I am going to show you it. Before I do, I thought I'd just include some packages, why not? Just since they've come and I happen to be vlogging. It gives you something a little bit more interesting to watch. Also, I'm um, wearing my uh, Disney top. Any of you guys ever performed in Disney? Let me know if you've done that, like in the parade, but this is from like 2015 or something. So first package, I believe I know what this is, which is perfect timing, flashcards. What I'm gonna do this evening actually is talk you through how I study, because I guess you've got a gist of my routine and not actually how I study, um, but I'll talk you through that tonight. So perfect timing to have these flashcards um, delivered. I always get them on Amazon, they're so much cheaper. If you bulk buy them, which I can't really do anymore because it's my last year, but say you're in first, second or even third year and it's the start of your year or whatever and you know you're going to be using loads, bulk buy like 20 packs of these and honestly it costs you like 20p per pack, whereas if you go to Tesco it costs you like literally four pounds for that um just a tip and then second thing i don't know if i'll show you this because i have a feeling it's something for a video i've got a video idea planned is it oh no no no, it's not i can show you this it's just a top femlux send me quite a lot of stuff every now and again and i really love their one shoulder tops they're literally like three pounds 99 i believe i have it in neon yellow and nude and i've got a white one that's just a fun reorder. And then also I've got a box here, but this is gonna be in an Instagram post in probably a couple weeks, so I'm not gonna tell you about that. That's my packages for today. Actually been quite an exciting package day. Ooh, I think I'm going to get my room set up. I'll show you that as a little time lapse. As much as I don't like to work at home, there are things you can do to make it better. One is get your room tidied, cause um, Hmm, this looks cute right now. Get your room tidied and get some nice lighting. Got some candles I'll put on and that always helps my situation get a bit better. So I'm gonna do that. And I think I might put a face mask on whilst I revise because This is my setup. It's not super pretty and you know like tidy, but 
I'll just pop on my laptop. I've got my candle burning there. One of these tropical fruit kind of smells, which is really nice. Little lamp, just kind of like ambient, and I'm going to do some work. Am I even focus? No. There we go. Uh, excuse the face mask is on my face. It's dry in certain areas, and it's not in others. Yeah, who likes my leggings? They're like velvety or whatever you call it, really comfy. That's also one of my tips. Don't ever revise in pajamas. Revise in comfy, comfies. <laughs> revise in comfies, but don't revise in pajamas because otherwise you'll end up in your bed in like two seconds, or at least I do. So how I revise? Essentially, I choose different revision methods every year. Since first year, I've been pretty much switching up how I revise every single time. I mean, there's always some sort of consistency. Obviously, there are things that I know that work. I've been revising, I think this is four, five, six, I think it's my seventh year of continuously doing exams. Every year I wanna improve myself, especially within university. It's usually the same sort of thing, especially within business. It's a case of either there's mathematics, like um, accounting stuff, or um, data analysis stuff, that's obviously a kind of different ball game, but in business there's always essay subjects, so subjects that you have to do reading for, you have to look at the lecture slides, you have to have your own examples, those always come up every year, I've always got at least every semester like two of those exams, so I try and improve year on year, and I'm going to show you what I'm doing this year to try and improve, and this year I'm really focusing, it's my last year, I don't know, like, you know, I want to try something that's going to get me the best grades I can. So this year, I am trying to really learn the external reading and the additional reading. You know how lecturers give you core reading and then they give you additional reading. And to really up my game with my um, essay answers in the exam, I want to be able to include a lot of additional reading to prove that I've been working on that. So I'm going to show you now what I'm doing to try and learn a little sprinkling of additional reading along with core reading, core lecture slides, theories, that sort of stuff. Hello, welcome to my computer screen. This year I'm doing a lot of on computer revision. A lot of the time I do a lot of writing it out, doing colourful notes, all that sort of stuff. But right now I'm trying to get as much information out of these readings and onto here as notes. This is my readings. I'm going to show you my folder for my class. So I'm doing brand culture revision right now and I've basically got all the readings that the lecturer has given us and I've labelled them into different topics. For example, a question on brand equity might come up. So I now have in this folder the five readings that were additional to the brand equity slides. I don't know why I'm telling you this in so much detail. Do you care? Now that I've sorted out those readings, I'll close that. So I just pull up this reading. I think this reading is specific to luxury branding. And I've got the Word doc open with the corresponding title of like luxury branding. You can see it there. This is the document, like the t uh, author and the date for referencing. And now I'm just pulling out interesting points that I could include in my exam answers. This is the initial stage. I'm doing this for pretty much every topic. Not all of them, just the ones that I think are most important and kind of gambling on coming up. What I'm gonna do is print those out, highlight them with highlighter. So this is all the readings you can see here. These are all the um, authors of the different journals and the points. Then I've highlighted ones that are like really important and kind of like buzzwords and stuff that might jog my memory. So once I've done that, for all of the topics that I want to do. I'm grabbing these, that's the wrong way around. And I'm going to basically condense even more using these points which I've highlighted. <laughs> Is this making any sense? Always breaking it down, going from like this huge, massive like documents that are sometimes like 33 pages long to like tiny little flashcards. So hopefully that process makes sense. It's essentially a four step process, condensing it from additional reading down to big like text notes then condensing text notes down into highlighted notes, then condensing highlighted notes down into flashcards. Actually, that's a three-stage process. I'm lying to you. I'm currently in between stage one and two. I've got a week and a day, I think, till my exam, so I'm hoping to have stages one and two done by, like, four days before the exam, and then I've got four days to do flashcard revision. That's my plan. I'm now gonna actually do that and stop talking to you. Cue time-lapse.
have finished revising. It's about half ten right now. I'm just going to go for a shower. Although I wash my hair at the salon, I haven't washed the rest of my body. And also my hair is still like obviously got oil and stuff in it. So I'm going to go for another shower and then I'm going to get into bed, watch a bit of YouTube and go to bed. So I'm going to finish this video up. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want me to do more study with me, let me know down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye!